This is the CBS Evening News with Scott Pelley. Good evening, I'm Donovan Long. Scott is off tonight. Nearly 70% of all funding for art supplies has been cut from New York City public school budgets since 2007. It's part of a national decline in arts education that has left many students without a creative outlet. Mary O'Connell has the story of one program that's teaching kids the power of a paintbrush. The first layer was blue. Mm -hmm. This is the second layer. Paola okay. Persiani is painting at Christie's Auction House in New York. The subject of her work is far beyond most 12-year-olds. I thought of this, um, of doing about immigration a long time ago. I thought of um, a girl crying and barbed wire. Words, like, just put it out there because people can see everything. So Paula is very interested in kind of very deeper and complicated subjects. Adar Shalfons is Paula's mentor and the founder of Project Art. It's a Harlem-based program that offers free art classes to students between the ages of 5 and 18. Paula was one of its first students. Supported by private donors and public grants, the program brings art to an area where budget cuts have forced many public schools to pack up their easels. We're not just like letting kids draw portraits or still lives. We are getting them to express themselves. Kids get bored in school. So how do we kind of do that curiosity? Just light it on fire. A native of India, Alphonse moved to the States when he was 18. He says that growing up, art helped him communicate in a way that no spoken language could. Art was the only form of expression that I knew and uh, was kind of like my comfort zone. For Paula, art is all about self-expression. She uses her palette to depict nature, world issues, and even herself. After being bullied at school one day, she came home and drew this. Here is like her like writing hurt because she's hurting a lot. And also I put like words like going right through her, like if she's getting hit by like a bullet or something. Paula says thanks to programs like Project Art, more kids can turn to the canvas for support. Art always, 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 always makes you feel better because art understands. Your guidance counselor might not understand, your mom might not understand, but art does. More than 500 students have been through Project Art since it started two years ago. And Donovan, it's so popular, every class has a waiting list. So Mary, what's next for Project Art? Well, Alphonse says he's talking to 19 different libraries right now in New York City with hopes to expand. And he says he sees an opportunity for a program like this throughout the country. Mary, thanks. For all of us here at CBS News and all around the world, I'm Donovan Long. Good night.